Hey, what is up, YouTube? Today I'm introducing my new series we're gonna be calling Learning Urian. Basic name, I know. But in this series, I'll not be teaching you how to play Urian, I'll be teaching you great tools you can use to improve your Urian. I want you to involve your own Urian the way you want to play. I'm just gonna show you a lot of good tools a Urian player should know, and through this, you'll improve as a player if you start going into training mode and actually practicing this. And today, I thought there was no better way to introduce this series by talking about one of Urian's best buttons, that is the stand medium punch button. This is an absolute amazing button, and we'll be talking about why. But not only is this button a really good whiff punishing button, it is also a very good pressure tool. One of Urian's best pressure tools, in my opinion, and something you have to do, not have to, but something that is really good to do on your opponent's wake up in most situations. Um, so, not only does this button, not only can you do this button as a midi from basically all of Urian's special enders. So if you do a shoulder, you can do this uh, button on that wake up. If you do a headbutt, you can do this button on that wake up, which is how you end, usually end your combos. But I'll be talking about Urian's bread and butter combos in another video, and I'll be showing you some of those. But the button, as we, if, as we could just talk about it, is, has six, seven frames of startup, three frames of active uh, frames, and 12 frames of recovery. But the really good part about this button, the really good part about this button is it has three frames, three, it's plus three frames on block, and it's six frames, plus six frames on hit. This is amazing for some reasons I'm gonna be showing you later. But as you don't notice, seven frames of startup, it's a slower button. It's not, you, you doesn't have any really fast, uh, medium punch buttons, which is kind of a downside to the character, but this button weighs all, weighs, outweighs that by being really good in, on your opponent's wake up. So why is it that this button so good on your opponent's wake up? If you look at it, okay, so we set the trusty real butt, real dummy, black. as you can see, what can we actually get from this? Well, if you set the butt to input any free frame or or anything on guard. I think I said it's so thrown out, but it works on free frames too. So if you set this, it's a natural frame trap. As you can see. It's a natural frame trap into the crouch medium punch. So if your opponent mashes button and on your as they're blocking, they're gonna get caught by the crouch medium punch. Why is it good besides that? If we it's <laughs> my own if we do a micro step forward you can do a throw so now you introduce a mix up after they've blocked this button you have introduced the mix up pro on pro or frame trap take a micro step forward and throw suddenly this becomes really scary because let's say if they actually do a throw you don't even have to shimmy. You don't even have to shimmy if they're just mashing. If they're just mashing throw, you don't even have to shimmy. You can just stay. crouch, wait for the with punish. So this is really good. So this is the main two things I like to do really to really bait out people. But that's more to it. You can do this. Problem is, after some changes to Urian can't get anything more than that after. You can get a stand medium kick. Of course you can do Aegis from that and all kinds of other stuff, but Aegis mix-ups comes later in another video. But you also have the overhead option. If they like to just crouch block, you can do a stand hard kick, which makes you have to make them react and do a stand block. So you have an overhead introduced, which you can combo back from, which is also insanely good. So this is the, like the different options you get when your opponents are blocking. Now I mentioned it's also a really good midi button. The reason for this is the a thing with Urian is he doesn't really have any ways to really kill frames. He has one setup for that. So you have to be good at timing your midi startup. But you can do a, a stand medium punch from all of Urian's special enders, so shoulder and hard head but I think I mentioned that earlier. But you have to time it yourself. That's a lot of going into training mode and practice being able to time your midi on your opponent's way, be able to see your opponent's 
wake up. A lot of people ask me how to do it. It is just through practice and sheer losing to people waking up buttons. They have just gotten better at just like doing stand medium punch on that wake up. So let's say we do a very basic uh, thing. So like this. Oh. Okay. Of course. That's how I read okay. Like, like this. So you get a stand medium punch. But what can you actually get from it if you actually get this counter? This is the most amazing part about this button on counter hit. Let's just do a combo. Let's just do a combo real quick. Look at that. On counter hit stand medium punch. At the moment, it's almost more favored to actually do a stand medium punch punish on some uh, on some uh, people's wake up uh, dragon punches and stuff because you just get more damage out of it because of this counter hit setup. So. If they wake up punish, you get a lot of punish, a lot of corner carry, and it is from that range that the way the stand medium punch puts you in range. It also it makes it perfect to do this uh, light headbutt, which makes it very easy to do this combo. Just demands a bit of practice uh, from that range. So, uh, some people will probably ask how you actually can, like get better at doing it because, as of course, it's a bad gamble because if they wake up blocking, um, you and you do a crash hard punch, you're probably going to get punished. It's a very punishable button. But the only way, like the only thing I say to you is just go into training mode, put on counter hit, put on guard, set it to random, and just practice. That's the best thing. To just it's very easy to do. Just go in and practice this. Just go in and do this. And and you, of course you're gonna fail. Of course you're gonna fail. But just like every time you fail, just like take a deep breath, try again. Restart, try again. It's not the hardest thing to hit, confirm. It's not the hardest thing to do this. It's actually... I know it's kinda like when I say something easy. Uh, but it's it's pretty damn easy compared to some other stuff you and have to do. So, you know, just go in. Practice. At some point, you're just gonna be able to see it. What I look for... What I look for when I do this, I look for the counter hit check. I don't even do that anymore, actually, to be honest. I just see the hits box and press crowd hands punch. That's how much time you have to do it. But in the start, I looked at the side of my screen, I looked at the counter hit, and I just stare at the side of my screen, just like... I see the counter hit check, and then I press crowd hands punch. Some people like to look at the stun bar, because stun doesn't go up when you, when you block. Oh my god. There we go. Stun doesn't go up as you block. As well. As you can see. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all that's another thing. But this button, you actually have so much time to actually do it that it that you can just look at if the bar if if he gets hit. But that's like some good ways to start up by doing I I I started with looking at the counter hit, like seeing if I got a counter hit. And then I started looking at like at the, I don't really do the stun bar thing, sometimes depends on what button I use, but I didn't do it for this. And then I just ended up just being able to see it. It's just through sheer practice, you get better at it. So not only do you get a killer a midi for frame track, which deals a lot of damage, you also get a really good unblock. You get a really good mix up between throw, shimmy, midi, frame trap, all that good stuff. You're plus three, so you can do. That's a, that's an, that's almost a, like this is an insane situation to think of that you're plus three on your opponent blocking. You can put yourself uh, you can put yourself in a plus three situation. It's really good. So that that's that's why this button is really good in pressure situations, and why this button is what I use basically all the time on my opponent's wake up. Which even in itself is a conditioning because then they think they can just wake up blocking, but then you can hit them with a throw or something else. So suddenly you even have 
not only do you have to throw after you've done the stand medium punch, you also can do a throw before a stand medium punch. So now there's even more layers to what you actually can do with this button on your opponent's wake up. And you, you get it basically all the time. You get it from everything you do. Every combo you end with a headbutt or a stand medium, uh, a shoulder, you get this. You get the stand medium punch uh, midi. So you get this opportunity just uh, continuously amounting your pressure, continuously making your opponent guess and just steamrolling your opponent until you win. You Every time, as soon as a year and gets his first combo, he can steamroll that into a victory through these options. So you just have to guess right and your opponent just has to guess wrong. <laughs> so that's why I think Stamina Punch is a really good pressure tool button. But there's a bit more to the button actually because of its kind of wonky frame data. So let me just show you this one last thing which is kind of interesting. So we take counter hit off. Notice this, counter hit is off. I showed you how you could do stand medium punch into crouch hard punch on counter hit. But not only that, you do, if you do the button meaty enough. Notice this, that combos. You can get these kind of things. You can get the crouch hard punch without even having to do a counter hit. You if your opponent guesses wrong in like which side you're gonna be on, you if you make the stand medium punch medium enough, and that isn't that isn't even a hard link, that's not a hard link to do. You can get a crouch hard punch from that kind of stuff. Which we'll get more into later where as I'm gonna be showing you some Aegis setups, which is uh, where we'll be making use of this interesting property of the stand medium punch. So uh, yeah. I think did I, did I cover everything? This is the first video, so I just need to make sure we talked about. You get the cross medium punch, you have unblock, you have. I think I got everything, guys, how to use this button. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video was my first one, so it might have been a bit unrehearsed, a bit raw in some ways. I hope you learned something, and please, you know. Put a like if you liked the video, comment below if there's anything you want to know, if there's something you want to know about Yuri and anything you want to have an explanation on how to do, just put a comment below I might make that into a video. You can also subscribe to get notified, I'll be thinking this, I'm trying to make these videos weekly if there's no like tournaments and stuff like that, but else yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you learned something. <laughs>